Daily Bean. Thank you for the three months. I appreciate it. <sighs> Today is Sims. I should say Sims. I definitely updated it. I'll double check. Yep, say Sims. <sighs> work has been slow. Get into my embroidery work. Cool. That's fun. That's fun. I support that. Ugh, I gotta say, I'm, I woke up so tired. And I was like, I'm sure, you know, the grogginess will fade it, once I'm, like, up and out of bed. And it's just, it stayed. I am just pooped. I even had a big lunch because I was like, maybe that'll help. But I'm like, nah, I'm ready for a nap now. <laughs> Should have got a coffee. <coughs> so we might hang out a bit with Hot Grandma today, but... Hot Grandma's gonna take some time because I have to make them like their other artist lover and I have to make, you know, they have to get married in seven days. There's like stuff we gotta do with them, which I would like to do, but also, you know, I wanna do the museum. So we're probably gonna do building today? We'll see, we'll see. Maybe maybe a little half and half. Maybe I'll build for a bit and if I get bored, I'll go back to uh, Hot Grandma, Grandmare. Dang, this is unrelated, but Ron has a cool set of shoes, some Pumas for Autism Acceptance Month, and I think that is really rad. And I'm not really one for sneakers. I'm not like a sneaker head. I don't wear Pumas, but I kind of want a pair. They seem cool. I'm like way into it. I just think it's neat that he can do that. Ron really seems to be thriving and it makes me so happy. Makes me very happy. Everyone watched Chopped 420. Discovery. Also, if we're talking about shows you should watch, everyone should watch um, Rutherford Falls. It's on Peacock TV. My friend Jana made it, and I'm very excited for her. I'm excited to watch it. I haven't had a chance to check it out yet. I was going to watch it during lunch, and then I forgot until this moment. I watched a Taskmaster instead. <laughs> Woke up in a panic twice last night. That sounds stressful. Anyway, we will be getting started shortly. Um, also, I'm getting my second vaccine dose this weekend. So I'm going to take a few days off after. I'll be back on Thursday of next week. I'll figure out exactly what the schedule is going to look like. So I'll probably wind up rearranging and doing like Dark Souls and Sims. We'll see. We'll see. But like baby challenge, I mean. The heavy hitters. Thank you. Yeah, I'm hopeful my side effects won't be too bad, but in all honesty, I'm expecting them to not feel great. And I'm expecting that to be A-OK, -okay because, you know, all that means is it's working. And I'm, I'm happy with that, you know? I'm also fortunate that I can just, like, block out a day or two, just prepare to feel sick. Yeah, you gotta get that uh, library degree. I'm simplifying it, but you know what I mean. Anyway, <sighs> about to get started. <laughs> All right, shall we party? Hello. I didn't even check the time. Yeah, it's a time to start. My name is Abby Russell. Welcome to my Twitch stream. It's good to see you all. Um, today we'll be playing The Sims 4. It's also been cold today. 
and I'm a sleepy little baby. My allergies, I think that's why I felt so sleepy, because my allergies, I think, were bad last night. And I think I might have been rubbing my eyes in my sleep, <laughs> which isn't so good. Anyway, shall we get started? Boop. All right, load game. So we are renovating everything. And we have been working to this cool artist. And they're very cool, and I love them. That's all you need to know. Um, we were building their loft, and their loft built. And they need to marry someone in seven days. I think what I'm probably gonna wind up doing. Cause I want them to have that old marriage from the past, but I want them to like break someone's heart. I don't know, we'll see. I think I'm gonna make them maybe not a good person. <laughs> but I do wanna build the museum. Let me turn the gameplay down a little bit. Oh. Thank you, Daily Bean. Hope everyone's having an okay end of the week. The end of the week, which is always good. Yeah, cause last time we built, I don't know if y'all remember, we made this incredible bathroom. It seems way darker in here than I remembered. So maybe put some more lights on the side. And I like got rid of the waterfalls on the side, but we need something here. We like need to put some art here, mirrors or something. Um, but I do still love the bathroom. Very pleased with how this turned out. We need some like, maybe we can get some cool wall lights for here. Let's find lighting miscellaneous here we go perfect <gasps> this actually probably would be all right i'm gonna put it up maybe we'll put it in an exhibit somewhere um the art exhibits are gonna be unusual just throwing that out there now so you can be ready for it hmm i mean we can just do these which is Okay. Might add some interest. I'm just gonna do that for now. It's also these. I just don't think it goes with everything else is the problem. What mirror does this fit around? It's kind of my question. So this. There we go. Kind of looks like uh, intentional. Versus just slapped on together. Okay, sure. It's one sort of small piece for over there. I don't know what to put over here, though. Ibuprofen was okay, someone said. I would say... I've heard don't take Tylenol before you get your vaccine. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a doctor, but I would... I've heard don't take Tylenol. The people there were like, you didn't take Tylenol, right? To somebody, to my friend, like before the vaccine. So I don't know. Look up, look into it. But I would say, unless you are a vaccine doctor, let's not recommend any health things. I was told Tylenol before mine. Okay. Yeah, I would uh, talk to your doctor versus taking advice from chat is what I'm going to say. Um, okay. There's like dots I could do. I don't know. Nothing looks right. <laughs> Yeah, I, I feel like I've heard more people say they were told not to take medicine beforehand. But again, talk to your doctor about it. That is a question for a doctor, not a unqualified streamer and commenter. <laughs> uh, we're just going to mirror it. Seems fine. Yeah, just going to mirror it. Um, I'm like, I guess I'll put... I Part of me, I think I might... Because I kind of want to have a wall here. I also think I want to bump these out a little bit. What if I did... Like, I want to have a wall. Hmm. I wish I could have, like, a wall with a window. And you can, like, kind of cheese it with, like, a half wall. Oh, my freaking back. Okay. Like, hmm. hmm. I wish I could do some of these walls and have like the half wall above it too. Like I want to make a little window basically. 
Because this just seems weird to me. Because, like, these kinds of coat checks are always just, like, in a room with the big window. You know what I mean? And, like, we could, we could do that, potentially. And it's just going to be sort of a, well, function. Or it's, it's going to be functionless. You gotta have to, you know, use your Sims imagination on some of these. But I think I might just leave it. You can also... Mm, yeah, I'm just gonna leave it. I don't love it, but... That's fine. It's at least brighter down here, which is good. And that's what we need. I think it's good enough. It's minimalistic. It's an art museum. Okay. <laughs> um... <laughs> I might tempt it. This feels... Maybe I'll do this. Hmm. These feel a little formal. I kind of like how casual this one is, but... I also think I like the consistency of the dangly bits. Anyway, I don't think we figured out the lighting in here yet, which is fine. Because, like, we added... Did I get rid of the light? No, the light there is still there, so that's good. Um, I'll figure out the light in here. But I'll figure out... I have to figure out the rest in here. So there's things we want to do. Wow, these look so small. Holy cow. Like, I guess that's sort of the thing with these big spaces, is everything looks fucking tiny. Okay. Anyway... Um, cool. I was also thinking, I think instead of this being doors, I think I might have it be like an, a, a walkway, awning, whatever the hell it's called. I'm forgetting the words. An archway, I guess? I want all of them. I wish the doors had a little, I wish you had like double doors, archways. Um, single doors. I guess I'll do that. Seems way tiny. Hmm. I can also do... I don't know if this will look great, but... Let's see. I can go... Boom. Boom. And then I think there's a square window, yeah? Black. What? Why not? Okay. Oops. There we go. It's not. I want this to work, please. Okay. Woo! Go away. Alright. Can still see the dangly bits. People are saying my stream title is out of date. It's not... That's so weird. Because it's not on my, um... Streamlabs. <laughs> like, I'm gonna change it. I'll hit update. Ugh. Why did it... It, like, reverted all my shit. Okay. Thank you for letting me know. It definitely... I don't... I checked it out earlier and it was fine. Um... Um... Okay. Sims 4 update. I've updated it. Should be correct. It's not... Don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Because I did my part. Anyway. I just refreshed the page and still saying game seems scary. Is it better? Why does it keep going back to this game seems scary? The title, though, is wrong. Like, I'm typing in a new title. Here, I'll just... You know what I'm going to do. Okay, we're just going to do it onto Twitch directly.
Okay. Should it better be fixed now. Freaking better. Okay, I'm glad I put the windows in there. I like I like the windows. I wish we had the triangular windows. I wish I could fix this. Mm. Oh well. Okay. Um so we have our little front desk area, which is good. And I might I'm gonna get rid of these. <coughs> Excuse me, oh my goodness. Um, so this is going to be the gift shop. I'm tempted to move this one forward, but I feel like these kinds of spaces always have sort of just like, you can stand around there. Um, this is going to be the cafe. I was also thinking we should maybe have windows down here. Like, I just think it's going to feel a little closed off otherwise. Like, are there interesting windows that we could put here? Let's see. I feel like Eco Living has like future stuff and maybe university. Do Eco Living and Discover University. Discover Eco. Cuz like Eco Living, yeah, like this well that's just not the worst thing in the world. I have darker ones. Um but then there's also like stuff like this and I don't think I want these necessarily. This is pretty brutalist. Does it go with everything else? I'm not sure. Boom. Goodness gracious. Let me... Why are you doing this? Ugh. Let me in. I can't. This is a nightmare. It's because it's like the edge of the lot, so it's freaking out. Okay. I'm gonna do that. So like this. I'm gonna do that. Oops. Oops. There we go. <sighs> Beat yesterday's Dark Souls boss using a piano keyboard and blindfolded? I did not see that. That sounds like quite the feat. People love getting real creative with how they beat a thing. It's like all those people who like play like Dark Souls with like a DDR mat. Respect. Love it. I would never, but I love that they do. <laughs> um, okay. Didn't do wallpaper on any of these bits. Oh, Jesus Christ. Goodness gracious. Okay. Oh, okay. I guess we did them. I feel like we need to have something here. I kind of like it, like, off-center, but... I don't know. You can also just center them. Hmm. gonna put the stairs there, but you know. Hmm, nice keys peep. Guitar Hero controller. Yeah, the Guitar Hero controllers. It's a classic. I feel like I need to have something else in this little cubby room. I don't know what. Hmm. So it's also thinking no so I was thinking there's we could maybe move some of these around have the stairs come up in the middle and have this be an enclosed space I could put like a door or like archways through here um and then it might solve the problem of like because it'll technically be outside because we can't put like a roof over it over here which is kind of what we want to do oh well so I'm trying to figure out what I want to put in these rooms. I can put a bunch of plants, potentially. I can put other art pieces, seating. Not sure yet. I do, I really like how this building turned out though. I'm just admiring it. With all the windows on, it looks really good. <laughs> like kind of amazed. We did good, everyone. 
I like that they have you have the big front windows on each floor, but not really the back windows. Cool. Into it. <laughs> Hundred babies blindfold challenge. Do people who do blindfold challenges do they just go with the sound and like learn the exact inputs? I mean, I guess so. <sighs> <laughs> Excuse me. I had to chug my water. Thank you. I also really like the rainbow bathroom. Some of my best work, my opinion. Okay, what's fun about this build too is it's like uber modern. So I feel like it forces me to really play and build differently. Let's figure out this gift shop. So, standees. Just search stand. I really want, it'll probably be in shelves. The thing I'm looking for. Let's do shelves. Shelving. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Surfaces. I'll start with shelves. Well, no, because I don't want it to go on the wall. Let's do miscellaneous, maybe. Because I want, like, displays. Like, this kind of stuff. I'm just going to put a couple of these out. They all sort of are in the same family. So... It might just be good for all over the museum. Um, I have a feeling we're going to be in this tab a lot. These. I also do this. Or this. Um, okay. I feel like th this. these are going to take over much of the museum. So I think these... I'm gonna just put them up here for grabbing later. This is a fun way to do it. Okay. And then I think I'm gonna make these. I like this sort of all white, I think will work well in this space. Um, like this will be good when we build a museum with like older shit, because this is gonna be like a modern museum. That's the goal here. Here we go. This feels like it's in the same family. I like the white. We can even see there's black options, color, colorful options. Well, this doesn't really, but. Hello, everyone. Enter through the gift shop. Exit through the gift shop. But yeah, enter through the gift shop and exit through the gift shop. There's one exit. So, it's not the most fire code friendly, <laughs> but that's fine, that's okay. Should I bump this out, like, half a square? I just want that beautiful symmetry. But I feel like it makes... I kind of don't mind that the rest is less symmetrical because I kind of can't tell. Alright. Might bump this part in one. Sure. Sure, whatever. Okay. Back to business. So we have these display shelves. We can see what else is in there. Let's see side tables, I guess. More display tables is really what these are. Oh, that's neat. Feels, again, similar family, which is what I'm looking for. Um... Yeah, I think we can make that work, too. Okay. These are... Are they lights? I thought... I always thought these were lights, no? Which might help with the fact that there are no lights in here. Nope, not at all. Okay, never mind. I don't know if I like this one, but it's an option. Let's see what other colors... Yeah, maybe as white it'll work. Is it the gift shop was so hard to come to grips with? Well, a lot of people think it's all a ruse, and I think it still makes a really interesting point. Like, they think that the main dude, the, like, videographer, was, like, a character, basically. Um, but he, like, still makes art. I do think there's, you know, a lot of 
fact and probably fiction. I mean, it's all documentaries, right? Is they're all kind of warped. All right, this is probably good for display stuff for now. Let's see, what colors do we have? I'm like, tempted to do some nice bright colors. This is nice. I like this table. It's weird. Okay. I'm gonna move some stuff out of the way for right now. I'm trying to like, I'm trying to figure out the flow of this place. I should do like. Are there like dividers? Divider. Okay, maybe this. So this one. Just look at my options. Eh, it's too curvy wervy. This is. I'm gonna go with this one. It sort of looks too shitty, maybe. <laughs> um. Should be plenty of room for the Sims too. Hold on. Also, what color colors do we have? But I kind of like that it looks kind of. I don't know. Right word. All right. I like that. Sort of some dividers to I think that'll be nice, and then I can do something like I want to put like displays over here, basically. Okay, great. And then I'll, they'll have items on there for purchasing. Um, I did just watch a YouTube video all about, like, museums and how they stock the gift shops, basically. It was interesting. Just happened to show up on my feed, and I was like, oh, cool. I do kind of want a bookshelf, because there's always, like, a bunch of, like, books. Bookshelves. But I wonder if there's one that... It's, like, not really... I like want something both, like, this is maybe what we're looking for. Because I want something both modern and kind of minimalist. Like, there's a lot of design in that other one we just saw. Like, this is it's just, like, too much design. Where it's just, like, just... We need, like, a functional bookshelf. You know? It's also, like, this is nice because it's... I don't want it to look like it's stolen from someone's house. You know? I want it to look like it fits in a store. Also this, which is like kind of like a library bookshelf, but not necessarily in a bad way. Um, yeah. So we have a, the both of these options. I think are uh, okay. Maybe if I do all black, it'll look better for me, or all white. Let's see this. Like, this is just a nicer looking bookshelf, but it's also so empty. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with this one anyway. Hmm. You can add more books to them. Great. It's nice that they have, like, a minimalist color options for it. Hmm. Hmm. Bookshelves. Yeah, go back to bookshelves. just like more loose books and stuff to fill these up with I guess we'll say I don't like that one so why can't I put anything down there hello Steph this is the museum yes museum hopefully the title should reflect that on the twitch thing it's not a dig at you it's a dig at 
fact that the title hasn't been working for whatever reason. Okay. I like how the, the museum's coming together, though. It feels good. It feels right. Okay. Wish these were, like, centered better with these windows, but that's okay. Maybe a little close together. Alright. I also kind of... Mm, maybe I'll do like three sort of on the perimeter. Okay. Seems good. Um... I feel like we need something with a little bit of height in the middle here, but I don't know. Hmm. Let me look at, um... I'm gonna look at... What's Royal Albert Victoria Museum Prince Albert and Victoria Museum gift shop? I remember the gift shop. I feel like it's like a specific feel to it, you know what I mean? I mean, all these gift shops have it. Yeah, like, look at this. It says that sort of, like... Because you have, like, a bunch of shelves everywhere, and then you also have the low things with, like, the knickknacks, the trinkets, etc. You know? That's not what I want. Um, There's also, like, a Met Museum. You can look at the Met Museum. Met Museum Gift Shop. I, like, honestly don't remember the Met Museum Gift Shop. I think it's mostly pretty boring. Yeah, that's right. Okay, yeah. So it's, like, shelves all along there. Whoa, this is fun. What's this? Gucci. Okay. Hmm. All right, well. Oh, we should, well. I was like, I can hang stuff on the walls, but all the walls are museums. <laughs> Or not museums, oh, windows, so... Yeah, we'll have to have, like, tiny sculptures and stuff. Um... Okay. And we're just trying to figure out... Where I'm gonna put it. You're trying to tell me how to pronounce Gucci? Um, I feel like these are all, okay, let's do that, and then, do something like this too, maybe that's better. That seems better for the bookshelves, I think. And that sort of divides the space more how I want it to be. Like, I want it to have that kind of um, tall, short, tall, short feel to it, you know? Nope, that's not what I wanted. I want you to move over. Yeah, that seems better. Seems better. I'm trying to get the spacing right for everything. All right, well, that seems better. We'll start with this. I think I'm gonna delete you. you. You don't fit for me anymore. I should bring that golden cube back. Or the glowing cube. Ugh, I also miss going to museums. I love museums.
think I am. I'm like trying to figure out how to space. This is also like this is a walkway, so we don't want to go too crazy. With. Hmm. I think that we could make that work. I guess. We also can add some color. Maybe I will make these blue. Let's just see what this looks like with a little color. Yeah, I think I do want there to be some color for these. Okay, we can add maybe this for over here. I think that'll help fill this little section out. Um, and then, okay, I feel like we can add some more of like. All right, I feel like with this being a color, it fits a little bit better now. Alright, I feel like that's got some flow. You walk through, you can check out the bookshelves. You know, oh, I need to add these to here. Oop. Oh, wait, this way. Okay. Alright, well that's uh I like I like that I think. Yeah. Yeah. That works pretty well. And I'll put- I need to put stuff on the shelves themselves. This also feels not centered to me, right? What's going on here? Hmm, how do I- He's just never gonna be centered, I guess? Well, I can do this. I can fix this on my own. Got the power. Okay, great. I like how this divides the space, though, too. Okay, cool. I'm very pleased with that. I'm, like, tempted to put more benches around over this way. I feel like we can use something there. Maybe we can just make, like, a big sculpture. That's kind of what a lot of these things have a lot of the time, you know? I think that's cool. Do it here. Front desk. I like the front desk. I think it works. It's not gonna be like truly functional as like a Sims thing, but I still think it's cool. Hmm. It's also okay. What are Here's something we can sell. Boom. Oops. Boom. Boom. I have like the all like red, red, red. I can also do blue, blue, blue. Because it looks just like that one. Yeah. Cool. Into it. Um. Sellable clutter items that aren't just books. I know, I like the robot head quite a bit. I feel like something else should go here. Not sure what yet. It's like, we need still, like, walking space. Um, you know what does this really well? Um, MoMA Lobby. Like, the MoMA always has, like, not really gonna show it, I think, super well. But, like, see, the MoMA always has just, like, here's just a couple of random sculptures. I remember one time there was this, like, instrument Bjork made there. There's also, they have a, an interesting gift shop that kind of looks over everything. This is not, is this? Oh, yeah, this is the lobby. Okay, interesting. 
But I feel like they always just have, like, here's, like, a couple of sculptures that, like, have to do with the exhibit they're currently doing. Like, this is... The lobby that we were looking at is sort of over... No, that's the front entrance. I guess it's, like, underneath us and behind us on this picture. Um, anyway... They also, okay, this is actually an interesting look at the walls of the MoMA. Because they just have, like, all white plain walls, which I might do. Because right now, all the interior walls um, are the concrete. But I might, I feel like switching it to just, like, a white wall is going to be, it's going to make everything brighter and I think feel more modern and museum-y. I'll keep the stairs walls what they are, but... I do like the idea of making these white. I might change them later, but for now, I, I like I like the white. I also still need to do the flooring and these. For now, I'm gonna do the grass. I don't know if it'll stay. Oops. What I kind of want to do, I don't know if it's a real thing I can do, but what I want to do with this is I want to make it... Like, I wish I could be like, that's a roof piece, and then I could put in this. You know? Mmm. Vending machines is an interesting choice. I could see what we have for vending machines. Vending machine. Because, like... Yeah, that that is interesting. Hmm. How would I put it in here and make it work? Here, what if I did you over here? Let me. I'm trying to figure out a good color. Let's do sort of this purple color. Um. This is not really the one I want. This is like the hiking vending machine. <laughs> what? Okay, so it's the only color you have for it. So just have like two of them, basically. I wish they were less pink, and I wish they had more colors. Like, I wish I could do primary colors. But I do like the idea of this. Hello, Triforce Vigor. I really wish I had a hot coffee. Gonna be real with you. Wish I had hot coffee. Just gonna put that out there. I wish I had it. You know what I could probably do in this space? Sort of unused space on the roof? I can do some solar panels. Bet that would actually be pretty cool. It feels like it's sort of in line with what the museum would do. What if I did like one, two... One, two. Can't tell. I feel like that's it's funny. Yeah. Hmm. Can't. Maybe this might be too wonky having them angled like that. Okay. Anyway, I do wish I could make... There's probably a way I could cheese it. But I do wish I could make these floor tiles see-through. I want to be clear. <sighs> like, I want it to be clear... Because I think that would be cool. It's what I want. But alas. I mean, I could remove the floor, I guess, is the option for that. Like, I could go in and be like, remove floor. But that's going to goof up a lot of shit if I do that. So, think about another solution another day. 
McDonald's breakfast on the way home. Hello. No, I've never had Taco Bell breakfast and I've always wanted to. Maybe one day. I'm gonna leave this the concrete. Okay, now that we have this, we need to figure out how we're gonna do lighting throughout this section. Lighting. Maybe I can, so there's floor lighting options, potentially. Um, I mean, these are like street lamps. Um, oops, that's all I wanted. These are kind of interesting. Hmm. I'm gonna try to make it look sort of like it's almost built into these bookshelves. start it's still gonna be dark as fuck in here but it's a little bit better i think i might put like lights in the middle of some of these and then have like items around them i also do like it's a chess piece but it's a light you know what i mean <laughs> and these are really colorful too which is nice yeah Um, do a pink one, this one, maybe red. Do another purple, I guess, too. It's only like one purple thing, really. All right, I do wish these colors were different because we have like sort of nice, bright, almost primary colors, and then these are like pastels. I feel like it's a little funky. Do another one of these. But let's make it orange. Okay, so there's a few more lights. Let's see, what can we put? Oh, this is cool. Hey, can I make this a little bit bigger? Great. Okay. Some lava lamps. Um, kind of an interesting thought to put a light here and like one there. Okay. Bye, all Yankee. Nice. Yeah, have a good presentation. Oh, we can probably put some lights on here too. I bet on either end we could get. That seems pretty good. Sort of makes it look a little like a hotel reception, but whatever, I like it. Cool, I feel like we also need like books and pamphlets or something up here maybe. Well, we can look into that in a minute. Ooh, this is cool. Hmm. Sims who love the nightlife. Interesting. Oh, it has to be red? Makes your means your sim's unhappy, though. Hmm. Oh, there's another one. What if I did... Kind of interesting. Now we can have, like, stuff on there. I feel like that kind of works. So they're, like, pretty dull. Um, okay, what if I did... Floor light. Like, we can do, like... We can also do those pool lights. Because I know that there are pool lights that are just like flat circles. Oh, this is such a cool tree. This is so cool. 
I'm not gonna put it in the house, obviously, but that's a neat, neat little light. Hmm. Hmm. Is there pool? Oh, that's like the drain. Oh, that's funny. Um. This doesn't really provide that much light, though. <sighs> Real good vibe. Yeah, I like this place. I think it's cool. This feels well lit, which I like. And, like, we'll still have to add more clutter and stuff on all of these, but pleased so far. Okay, let's go back to floor lighting. I think this is an option. And we could probably even do... Something like that. They like really hardly give off any light is the issue. But I guess that's okay. Right? It's it's weird they, they just feel like they're really dull. Um oh well. Kinda want I feel like we should have something else here that is a similar vibe, that kind of like pop art vibe, you know what I mean? It's this one, which is maybe... I'll put it here for now, but I don't know if it's the one that's gonna stay. Sculpture? What, maybe we can look in like... Maybe a gnome would be kind of cool. We can also look in like kids' toys. Might be a thing. See, I definitely want to put a gnome. Where's like the most just normal ass? Okay. There will be a gnome in this museum somewhere. Okay. Crazy lamps. Which one? These? These are from... This is from the Discover University lamp, or Discover University pack. I think it's supposed to be like a street light, is my guess. Small trees and a really big gnome. Um, I don't want this one. I want, let's look at kids, children, children, toys. Mr. Blue Bear is kind of fun. So flat. It's, it's a little funny. Also floats a little bit. I need to make it daytime. It's too dark. I don't hate Mr. Blue Bear. Okay. Sure. We can put these over here somewhere. Oh, sick. Good. We can just like set it next to this guy. Why so? I can't figure out like the placeable spots on this thing. None of them seem consistent. Okay. Okay. Alright. Get the job done. If you put a giant toilet in the lobby, will the Sims try to use it? <laughs> um, not if it's... Not in, like, a... I think they'll only use it if it's like nobody else is in the room or they have no shame. All right, well that's that's fun. Cute. Um. Okay. So let's figure out what we're gonna put on these shelves, too. Yeah, I'm gonna put that there. Some other colors now. Um, do 
feel like there are always like journals in these places, you know? Okay. I need to fill these up too. Um Museum stuff. Museum stuff. Let's look at clutter and see what we have. Clutter. Okay. Mean. Sure. They have like pillows and stuff like it's never I feel like we need to put something a little more dynamic on these but why is this being so funny why backwards but I don't care I feel like there's always like soaps and like luxury stuff is this the right height I think so okay I think I turned all of these inward jeez what happened there what the heck happened Why? I feel like it's still floating. This one's not. Oh, brother. If that's... Maybe because... Okay, you know what we're gonna have to do? We're gonna have to delete all these. I think it's because it went from one shelf to this shelf. You know what I mean? Okay, let's try this again. This one's still floating. Okay. Few. Oh, calendars, postcards, books, mugs. Yeah, that's true. Don't worry, we're, we'll add. We'll keep adding. Do you feel like there's always just like lotions and soaps and shit too? You know what I mean? cluttered maybe how it's sitting but nope Let's see are you floating yes Think again. Don't have to really do this manually.
Cool. Works for me. Can I put like books on here? Dude, lotion, I'm telling you, lotion's definitely a thing in museums. Museums also have like weird shit that doesn't make any sense. Like some of it is just like, here's a mug that has like, that's not what I want. Cup. Searching for cup. Oh, you know what I can do over here? But it's like they have like dish stuff for sure. Dish shit. Let me just I don't think I'll keep that, but dishes. Okay, let's look in clutter. I want a filter by Snowy Escape. Clutter? Clutter? There it is. Yeah, I'm getting rid of this. Giving different color options, trying to. <sighs> Getting a phone call, and I'm ignoring it. I think this has to go somewhere, right? I mean, honestly. <laughs> Wish. Oh, where it was. Seems fine to me. All right. Bins of polished rocks. <laughs> it's true. Not really so into the rocks as some other people seem to be, but that's as small as it goes. Well, we do need this here somewhere though. Kids clutter. It's fun. Whoa. Um I feel like a lot of a bunch of these would be good. Why are these like not in the same plane? Why can't I? Oh, oh well. Stuff gets bumped around in museums all the time. It's fine. It's fine. Cool. Fine. Works for me. Sure. Gift wrapping. Available, let's say. Whatever, why not? What kind of bird? Giant turkey. I figured it's like an origami crane. That's sort of what I figured. Origami crane. Profiles and art. I figured it's a crane. Did I accidentally set another one down? Yes, I did. Um, Alright, we're getting there with the clutter. This might be a, an ongoing project. 
one of these things. Mmm, I kind of want to do this. Maybe we can have like outdoor cafe type stuff up here. We'll see, we'll see. Um, into this so far though. Definitely into this. Alright, cool. So yeah, like I said, the gift shop, I'll add more clutter in as we, as we go. Um, I do want to get... Ooh, that's nice with the colors. I think I like the pinks. Um, I want to get like the cafe. Is there? Mm, it's a bar, yeah. So I want like a cafe. Let's see. Heart center items? No. Do kitchen. Cause there's like this, sure. But I want there's like what's that barista counter? Maybe it'll be in appliances? Miscellaneous seems about right. This. Which I don't hate. But I feel like it should just be like a coffee shop vibe versus like a full restaurant vibe, you know? <sighs> Hello, Starry Holly. Thank you. When it was smaller, it looked like a turkey. I like that people are still talking about the cranes <laughs> slash turkey. Anyway, hello everyone. Um, where the heck is this like espresso table? You know what I'm talking about? Uh, here? Here? What the heck? I'm gonna put this down. Oh, there's also this. Oh, it needs to go on like the special counter. Espresso stations from get together. Let's just search espresso. Espresso engine. No. Okay. Espresso. Here we go. This is exactly what I want. It's also this one. Okay, it's the same thing. It just doesn't have the thing already on it. Okay, this is perfect. I feel like I want that one just because I like the marble better than the tile, I think. Maybe we'll go with the all let's go with the all black actually. I'm gonna do the kind of light blue. It's fun. Um Trying to decide how I want to put this. Okay. I can also do it. No, there's not really a ton of room for that. We also still need to add more lights in here. Because this is the only light we have right now. Let's see other lights. Kind of down for just... Like, honestly, these might wind up being it. With black. Sort of what museums have. Why does it seem like this is... Okay, there we go. I was like, why does it seem like it's not lighting anything up? Okay. Cool. I'm also tempted... So I can get rid of this window. And I could do, like, a big glass sliding door and have some, like, outdoor seating. It might be nice. Something like this. I'm tempted. I might do that. Let's see what- let's see, because I know we have- like, kind of like we put- yeah, we can do something like this. this. Whoa, why is that- is that how tall the sims are? They're gonna look like babies in here. Why is this so small? Is that how tall sims are? Can they fit through that? Sims are that small? Blowing my mind. setting, I would say. I kind of like there being like another side door 
or sit down side. Maybe, yeah, we'll do it here by the trees. I was like, it's a little more yard space here, so like maybe we'll put it on the other side, but this is kind of nicer because you got the trees and everything. Okay. This has been my reality. It really has. It just makes everything seem like it's going to be so big. I guess we did the tallest roofs for them, but... Uh, hot, fresh cinnamon rolls. Oh, that sounds good as hell. Okay, let's do little tables and chairs. Outdoor tables and chairs. Let's just get surfaces. Tables. Dining tables. Um... I feel like this is kind of what we want. Sort of cliche... Museum modern, but whatever. Maybe I'll do this. More the bright color. That's nice. That's nice. Yeah. Oops. Just sort of sit outside as you'd like. You're not gonna be served, you know. Okay, seating, comfort, dining chairs. I feel like this is kind of what we want. What other colors do we have? I can just go with the uh It's like never in direct sunlight, which I guess is good. know if the blue and yellow are too much or if it's fine. Okay, it looks like this one's a bit in the direct sunlight, but I'm kind of okay with that. And then I want a little bit of landscaping, I think. I need some plants. Oh, you know what I can also do? I'm going to put you here for now. I want... Okay, okay, okay. Hold on, everybody. I've got an idea. You. I want... Yeah. Hold on. Bear with me. This part's maybe... Sort of comically small. I'm like gravel. Is there a gravel option? Here, let me... Oh, shit. Beans. Like, I want gravel. Outdoor. Do we have gravel? Oh yeah, gravel. I guess maybe it's not gravel. Maybe it's like pebbles I want. This is not even the right color. There's sand. Yeah, maybe we'll start with sand. Um, I mean, we can do the Zen Garden thing. Where do you find that? Hmm. Like, kind of small. This would be too small for, like, a true Zen Garden. Maybe I'll just keep it sand and just add my succulents as they are. Versus, like, a true... I can also do, like, boop. Boop, if I wanted to. I mean, it's pretty small. Nope, why would you do that? That's maybe comically tiny. You know? Maybe we'll keep it anyway. And like, I could potentially also like do this and then we 
Um, and then really make the Zen garden, you know? like probably a lot of work or hold up Although I remember these being like a little funny. Like I don't think they really work so smoothly. I also did it wrong, but eh. I think like I kinda like the idea of there being a Zen garden. But I just feel like it's not really gonna work. Yeah, I'm gonna what I'm gonna do instead. think I'm just gonna put plants out here. I'm just gonna put like succulents and shit. Ooh, that's cool. Yeah, the gift shop's looking cute. Yeah, I'm just gonna do like, you know, a couple little succulents and sand, which is not exactly what succulents grow in. <laughs> but I feel like you get the vibes, right? The vibes. trying to make this work. Hmm. Whoa. Again. Yeah, we can also make it like a sculpture credit, but I want to have some greenery, I feel like. You know, I feel like there's going to be so many sculptures all over this place. If this looks good at all. <laughs> I say it doesn't really. I can also do something like this. Hold up. That's too small. It's weird. creek or reflecting pool. I mean, we already have a fountain here, so I don't necessarily want, like, another water feature. At least not as close. Let me mash you in this corner here. Alright, well, maybe that's sort of 
what it'll be. You know, we can also make this a real teeny tiny Zen garden, but it's gonna be tiny. Just like bamboo fountain. Wow. Fountain. No. Oh. We could have a little froggy fountain. Um. Why is this so big? Yeah. I think it's just kind of going to stay as is. Thank you. I think, yeah, I think it's all right. It, we can always tweak it a little later, too, if it's like, ooh, it's weird, you know? So. I think it's nice to have a little outdoor seating. Either way. That was going to be kind of in a straight line, which is a little boring of me, I guess. I'm going to have like a bench here, I think. Let's see our options. Concrete one, maybe? Hmm. Maybe this one. Sure. Um... I feel like I should make this not grass. Should I just leave it grass? Also, I think I'm gonna take this. Um, do I like it better with a little floor there? No, I don't. I can. Like this kind of stuff, you know? That's pretty soft. Oops. Erase the part that's there. Oopsies. I don't, it doesn't really go with the sort of brutalism of the rest of it. I'm not big on condiments myself, but I always respect a condiment queen. Do we have a favorite kind of condiment? Mine's mayo. Controversial, I know. Yeah, let's erase this. I feel like I don't want this to straighten the grass, but I don't really know what to put here. Just concrete. Make it soft. know if that's good. Sort of like this kind of loose concrete. Just has like a shitty edge. Doesn't really make a ton of sense. What if I made this a little harder? I'm gonna make this real soft. Bear with me. Dirt. Getting some dirt around the edges. Okay, I'm gonna make it a little harder. And back to the concrete. Nope. I think it looks a little more natural, I guess. I guess I'll take it. All right, let's erase some of these edges. Oh, the real tiny one I just grabbed. Okay, sure. 
Old Bay and lemon juice in your mayo? Mmm, that does sound pretty good. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna be okay with this. I'm choosing to accept it for what it is. I think those are evenly spaced. I think so. Alright, ooh boy. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And I'm even cool with the bright colors of it. Okay, cool. Back to business. Um, it's gonna be pretty bright in this section, but I'm okay with that. Okay. Yeah. Cool with this. Cool with this. I don't know if I like this. I want to like this, but I don't think I do. Ooh, maybe something like that. A wild. This plant's kind of clipping anyway. Mm, I don't know if I like it. I, I want to like it. I don't know if I do. I'm gonna keep it for now. I don't know if it'll stay. I don't know if it'll stay. Either way, pleased with how this has turned out. We need to get some tables and chairs for inside of here, though. Like, we can probably do... I want, like, those tall, tall tables. Surfaces. Unusual? I which... Here we go, perfect. They're too close together, but... Get some nice booth stuff. Not booth. You know what I mean. You know what I'm saying. Okay, something like that. And then a couple more. Let's see how I did it here. Um, and then I want low tables, just regular tables. These are the ones. Hmm. Yep. They definitely have ones that match because that's from the tiny living set. Tiny living. Let's see. What? Where are they? Should be the here. Hmm. Where's this tiny living table? I know it's... Do they not have a short version of that table from tiny living? Because this is this one, which will work, but I like the roundness. I want like a round... I guess I don't... Seems weird. Favorite wing sauce. I like a sweet barbecue. Or spicy barbecue, but I just like a barbecue. I'm boring. I don't like buffalo sauce. It's too vinegary. Not really so big on vinegar. I'm trying to get this to not clip through every wall. Which kind of works with the rock. <sighs> I'm like I can't believe they don't have a table. I can't tell if I'm just missing it or... I guess they don't have a tiny living... Hmm. What? Oh. Yeah, they don't. Wow, I'm kind of shocked. Whatever. Okay, so this should be able to go black. Perfect. Okay. Ooh, hydration check. Thank you so much. Alright. <sighs> Thank you, cheers. Not quite halfway, but eventually we'll be halfway. All 
Alrighty. Something like this. I'll we'll have to add some chairs to it and move it around. Okay, let's see what other chair options we have. So I do like this chair. Maybe for the outside. Is there just... Let's do the blue one. Blue on blue. I wish they had more colors that were just all... Like, I wish they had a rainbow of all of just, like... Just that color, you know? Oh my gosh, Bunny Fiend! Thank you for the gift subs! I appreciate it. Bunny Fiend 2, excuse me. It's your secondary one. It's the sequel to Bunny Fiend 1. Thank you! Really appreciate it. <clears throat> but wouldn't these look nice if they just had like the full rainbow of them? Yeah, I like the all blue better. I'm going, I'm going with that sort of trend of like all one color, which is a trend I quite like actually. So I'm like tempted to go back to these for the inside. Ooh, I kind of like that green. Definitely kind of cramped over here. Let's figure out how we're gonna arrange these. We'll do that for now. These both equally. Okay. do one here. I think that's what I'm gonna do. This is probably like too much seating that is really needed for like a tiny little cafe in here, but that's fine. That's fine. Buffalo sauce is the only spicy food you'll tolerate. Hmm. I like some spicy food. It's also like once you start eating spicy food, it's just like everything needs to be spicy. Um, let's get some stools. These are pretty cool. Let's see, let's do these, which I quite like. I wish they had like all metal ones. This is what we were using out there, and I do like these as well. I wind up going with those. Actually, these look so uncomfortable in a way that these stools always are. Like these high up stools never feel good. You know what I mean? Like never ever. Okay, over that. Yeah, it's not exactly centered, but it's better. We still need to figure out like art and shit for these walls. It's just like very white walls. Needs a rail around the exposed hole in the floor. Yeah, that's a good idea. Good idea. Um. Boom. Okay. Now Osha can't complain. Great. Ugh. Hot peppers in your cuticle. Jeez. Jeez. Do not recommend. That sounds quite uncomfortable. Okay, great. Alright, I think it looks pretty good. Um, I feel like we still need more in here, though. Maybe not. I mean, maybe what we need... I kind of am like... Should we get... Um, say... What's it called? Hopefully this will be functional. I don't entirely know how it works in The Sims. It's not centered. Oh, I see. The window's funny. Hmm. 
Anyway, I don't entirely know how it works in The Sims if, like... I'm gonna do this, and then I'm gonna add two things here. If you just put this in, if they will, like, populate it themselves, or if every time you come to this lot, you're gonna have to be like, please make this a whatever the hell. This is from Get Together, so presumably it would belong with this? Hmm. Well, the colors ain't matching already. So I guess not. This one? No. What do, the, what do the other side of the cabinets look like? Maybe we just don't have a matching cabinet for it, which is fine. I thought maybe I can add some, but that's fine. Oopsies. Okay. Either way. It's gonna be kind of tight. <laughs> um... I wish there was, like, what cabinet? Oh, it's probably this one? Maybe it's this one. It doesn't have the dark counter, though. The heck? Hmm. Which cabinet? <laughs> The base game one? This? Black? This also might just be wishful thinking to think that there's a cabinet that matches. This one kind of works. So I'm going to do that one for now. It kind of works. I guess I just wanted to add that one there anyway. This one? Oh, here we go. Must be this. Yeah, that seems right. Okay, good. Okay. Um, where are you? Okay, there you are. Yeah, we'll just do the one. That's fine. That's fine. Um, we need to figure out art for here. Maybe this is where we'll have some of these... I was putting the murals in here. I don't love them in here. I think this is maybe a more interesting space for these murals. Put it right in the middle. Yeah, seems about right. <sighs> High energy dog. Nice. That sounds fun. I love dogs. Dogs are so good. Dogs are so Are there other... So I could do another one here. The Sim might have a hard time getting to it while... We can figure that out later. I can always move stuff. There's also... Oh, I see. The tape is on there. That's cool. While we paint it. Oh, that's pretty cool. Um... I wish this was a little better. I do want, like... See what other options we have because i can also do that corner piece the corner and then have like a half these yeah they should still be able to get into there pretty easily I think that makes it look a little more complete and less like a sort of floating thing in the middle of the space. Oh, come on. Come on. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I think it looks a bit better. Cool. All right. Chairs are in the splash zone. <laughs> I know. The chairs, we might have to move them so she can paint this and then we'll get rid of it later. Um, but that's good. Two murals. There's also, I want to say, it's like a floor mural you can do, which is also kind of interesting. Maybe we'll do one of those. I don't know. I'm pleased with how this turned out, though. I like this. I think it looks pretty good. And you know, even these are growing on me. These are growing on me. I like them. Cool. 
<sighs> this has turned out... I like the colors. We're incorporating colors in a way I quite enjoy. Okay. I feel like we need some some stuff on the walls over here. Maybe, like, maybe now we can have a chalkboard. Chalkboard. Let's search chalk. It seems so small. Why is it so tiny? Oh, this is cool. Can I get one that doesn't have fish? Meat? Let's do the meat. Uh, let's do veggies. It's like a cool thing. I wish it had... Mm. I'm sure the whole point is like... Meant for like a butchery or some. Might put this out here. Do they even have... Do they not have a coffee one? It's cakes, but I don't like the blue frame. Alright, never mind on that one. I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Whew. Ooh, smoothie sounds good as hell. Yeah, if they had fruit, that would be better. I do like the fish. But it seems like an odd choice, if I'm being honest. This is kind of cool. I mean, it's like, I think it's supposed to be chalk, but I could fill out the space out here. Whoa. With these kinds of chalk drawings. Like I can be like, boom. I wish they were a little more pale. They're like real vibrant, which is fine. It's just kind of a lot. Oopsies. Is there another circular one we can do? Alright, got a case of the sneezies. Whoa, ramen. Do, 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 do. Mmm. I don't know, I think that's overkill. I think I'm gonna give up on this chalk thing and leave it as is. Hello, Squid Bear. Um, okay. Cool. We definitely still need stuff in here. Okay, let's do the no slip. Oh, good, no slip, no mess rugs. Works for me. Looks good. Yeah. Looks good. Okay. Um. So we'll have some art on the walls. It's a little barren in here. But I'm gonna leave it for now anyway. Um. Okay. Then we have our first exhibits. Finally. I think like tempted. Hello. I would kind of love for all the corners to have like no actual corners. But we'll see. But I think it'd be a f maybe we won't do it on this floor. Maybe the first floor will just be shaped as is. Maybe for over here cuz this corner is weird. They have these backdrops. We can make like a full real circle, which would probably be a cool Exhibit. You like go inside of it. That might be a fun idea. Let's see what else. I thought we had more backdrops. Let's see. Back drop. Okay, here's a straight one. Cause like these are designed to be like boop. There you go boop. Which this is not maybe not where I would have it, but something to think about. I think it'll be interesting. A lot of easy, a lot of babies will live here. Don't you worry. Um, okay, cool. So I'm just trying to figure out the vibes, get an idea for like what's on display here. You know what I mean? That's also important. I need to, I regret how I just threw down these very tiny, hard to see lights in here. Okay. I'm gonna say I got them. 
Let's do nighttime. Honestly, the center light does more than you'd expect. Okay, let's do this. my lights down. Is that bright enough? It feels not very bright. It feels like it should be brighter in here with all these lights. Am I crazy? Hmm. Oh well. This is technically on a different save, so unfortunately, Remy can't come. Remy's- his world is too chaotic to mesh with our perfect, beautiful world we're creating here. <laughs> um, really pleased with how it's coming together, though. Alright, well, anyway. Did I- is this grass? No, it's concrete. Good, I actually did put stuff down. Okay. It's like this light is too bright because it like really casts these crazy shadows that these lights just can't seem to keep up with for whatever reason. Like if I put another one down, will it brighten this corner? This corner feels so dark. Kind of. Hmm. <laughs> Download it into your baby challenge save. That's very true. Very true. You know, Remy's not one for um, family outings. Let's be serious. Thank you, B-tids. Sorry, my allergies are really bad. Um, okay. So this one is just going to be kind of basic. Sort of basic stuff. Sculptures. I feel like I'm trying to think of a generalized theme. So like big sculptures. Always good. Um I might do one TVs. I kinda wanna stack a bunch of TVs on top of each other. This one might be an ordeal to do. I feel like I've seen certainly one. I feel like multiple of like of exhibits where it's just a bunch of TVs playing. I saw, I want to say I saw one. I don't know if I saw it in person or online. I want to say I saw it in person where it was four TVs sort of stacked on top of each other in a grid. And it just showed people like vomiting it was just like they were just like vomiting this like kind of it was weird anyway it's not my favorite piece still thinking about it though so okay anyway it's modern art for you you know what i mean Just trying to have these stack kind of neatly. They're not really doing what I want them to do. Just I've seen a lot of stuff with TVs. I feel like theme. All right. Um, turns out stacking TVs is harder than you'd think. Definitely also seen ones where it's like a bunch of TVs. Um, that like are shaped kind of like a big robot, basically. What is that one? 
Okay, go away. Um, modern art TV robot. I want to say, was it? Mm, I also saw one that was just like a whole fuck ton of TVs. Um, Whitney Museum TV stack. Just like a ton of, it was like, okay, yeah. So I feel like. I've seen like a number of these. Like I, I, it, it wasn't. I think I maybe have actually seen this one, but there's. Oh, this is one I feel like I've seen. No, because I, I maybe it was radios I saw. I saw one that was like a bunch of radios I think stacked, and they're all playing different stations. But I've definitely seen like a bunch of just like TV esque installations like this. Here, what's the. Woody Museum radios. I want to say there's one that was just like a whole ton of radios stacked up on each other. But I don't know. I don't know. Radio sculpture. Maybe it was not the Whitney. Let's just search radio sculpture. This is not interesting for anyone. It's me Googling off screen. Oh, here it is. Yes, I found it. Babel. Oh, is that the Tate? Okay. Anyway, it was interesting. Yeah, 800 whispering radios. It was, it was fascinating. But that's kind of like the vibe I want here, you know? Okay. Big pile of clothes as art. That's true. Kind of the beauty of modern art, right? You can just do some whack-ass shit and be like, it's art. You can't argue with me. It's art. Okay? This is an art piece. I'm making a statement. Okay? Oops. Cool. We'll call a day with that. It's fine for now. Um, let's do wall art. Decorations for the wall. Um, This feels like, okay, this I'm going to put up here, because this feels like maybe more of a cohesive, like, this is one person's stuff. Boom. Boom. How many, wow, there are a ton of swatches for this. Okay. I don't know if they all actually have different, it might just be different frame colors, but. Okay, that's Because this should feel like, oh, all well, the same artist made these. You know what I mean? It's driving me nuts that all the frames are different. But you know what? Say la vie. Okay. Yeah, that feels good. Okay, good. I might put... Because this is also... It's always like galleries are divided in different ways. You know what I mean? So, like, these might be different little things. Um, I need to... I, I'll probably have to rearrange these and have, like, doors through here. Which shouldn't be too big of a deal. I'll just move them. But they're there for now. Um... What is this? Oh, that's the wall for... Oh, that's interesting. That's fun. Um... I feel like this is too tucked in, but I'm gonna keep it there for now anyway. So I want, like, real, like, pop arty stuff in here, I think. This feels like a real pop art section. Like, modern sculptures, pop art kind of stuff. Okay. I think that fits in the room, okay. 
see what other colors we have for it. Ooh. Oh, what if it's gold? Kind of like the orange. The gold is kind of cool too. I'm gonna stick with the orange for now. See what other colors you have, buddy. We'll keep the classic. Hmm? <laughs> um, okay. So, maybe we'll put some kind of sculpture here. Oh, never mind. Do. I'm gonna do the all black ones for now. Um. Oh, why does the window do this? I hate it so much. There we go. It's like the most annoying glitch. I don't know why it happens all the time. This is more stuff I was looking at. I'm gonna put it outside for now. I don't love that piece for this museum, to be honest. That might go in one of the more ancient museum. Same with this one. Feels just old. I'm gonna get rid of both of these. I want modern stuff, you know? Great. Um, back to this stuff. Gotta move these. They're too tucked in. Drive me nuts. I'm gonna keep it stuck to the grid. Maybe that'll make it look more interesting. Okay. It's... Whatever. Yeah, that's fine. Um, okie dokie, okie dokie. Kind of putting some stuff here. I mean, a little low to the ground, but um, let's actually just look at sculptures. See what sculptures we have. Um, again, wanted to feel modern. Sure. Is there another kind of lovey dovey thing? Sort of overly saccharine piece. Ooh. Hmm. And a bus. Hello, Bolo Ludens. Giant breakfast art is a great idea for in here. I will look into that in a moment. I want to get... Hmm. Okay, I want something that kind of matches this. They're like... I think there's like a single rose. Here we go. Indoor plant, a single rose. This is... A perfect. Okay. What? Okay. Decorations. Wall art. More pop art for in here, please. Um, I'm gonna put this up here because I do love these. Oh, there it is. That's cool. That's cool. Okay, and then for over here, I'm just gonna put you here for now, but it'll change. I want like, like if I could have, hmm. I want some like something modern, but like, like a commentary on like, Sexuality or something, you know what I mean? I don't know what would be good there. What all do you have? These are like movie posters. But there might be something cool. Ooh, 
I think the, it might already have it, but what I want to do in the, um, there's that, uh, the, the celebrity town. I want to do, ooh, maybe this. This is perfect. This is perfect. In the celebrity town, I want to, um, this is pretty cool. I want to make a, what's it called? I want to make a museum, like a museum of the moving image, like a sort of memorabilia museum. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, hydration check. Thank you so much. I'm totally so into putting art up. Anyway, I want to make a, a movie mu museum with all the movie memorabilia. I think that would be really cool. Gnome, indeed. I know. I do like the Momi. I've been there a couple of times. It's the Museum of the Moving Image. It's in Queens. And I feel like they don't change their exhibits out enough for me to justify going to Queens. You know what I mean? They do have really good movie showings, though. Big, lovely theater. I've seen a number of talks there. Oh, that's interesting. They have. Oh, here we go. This almost feels a little basic, but it's kind of interesting all the same. Oh, here we go. It's a big thing of money. It's like the forever grind, right? I'm gonna change these to all white. Oops, all white, I said. I want more sculptures like this. Stolen ATM is kind of a fun one. Um, maybe the gold bars on the other one? Hmm. This is cool. It's a commentary on polluting the ocean. Yes, I'm Oki. Thank you for asking. <laughs> um, Momi's cool. Oh, Liberty Science Center. Ooh, I don't know that one. Is that in New York? Where is that? I think two might be too much, honestly. I'll have to figure out something for that wall, but... Or just like a big tall sculpture here, maybe. Um, that's that's quite perfect. Oh fuck off! All right, really didn't fix the issue I was having with this, but that's fine. In Jersey, oopsies. I wish I could do this and still see the stuff I put on the walls, but you know what? That's fine. Okay, we're gonna do that. Put you over there for now. Um, let's do gold bars. What? Gold. Okay. Gold. Let's see, search gold. And there we go. Okay, into that. It's commentary about American consumerism with breakfast and money. Look, it, it, it makes sense if you're enlightened, okay? Do that one. I don't like these pictures. Stacks of gold bars for breakfast, exactly. Oops. Oh, 
Oopsies. Sorry. Sorry about that. Okay. Um, just trying to figure out next steps here. I don't think I like this. I almost like these. I guess I'll keep them. I might do some sculptures in front of it as well. <sighs> I feel like some museums are opening up with limited capacity, I think. From what I understand? Could be mistaken on that one, but I'm pretty sure. Sounds about right to me. Um, okay. They are around Boston. I know, I'm pretty sure New York has had some. I know the ones in D.C., I think, aren't open at all. Um, at least last I checked. Things could have changed. I don't know. Um, kids. Toys. I feel like toys are always a good thing for, like, you know, potential modern art. Um... Bunch of hamsters, but they're all facing away. What this? This is a really weird build. <laughs> I'm like, is this working? I don't know. I think it is. But it's also, I admit, it doesn't make any sense. It's weird. There was one thing in a museum I saw where the piece of art was... A bunch of candy in the corner of the room um, and on the thing I remember because I went in there and sort of as I was going in there a woman went over and took a piece off of it and it was like that's a piece of art what the hell are you doing and like I didn't say that but other people were like what and she was like the sign says you should take some um, and it did but it's like a piece of art and part of the art is like you take a piece and I did I have a piece of it I don't I can't imagine. I think I lost it at this point. But I did have it for a while. And it just sort of sat on my counter because I'm like, now what do I do with it? It felt weird eating it. Especially because it was like on the floor, <laughs> you know? Um... <laughs> I feel like I need to make these a little bigger. Wish this could go in the center of this thing, but I guess that's fine. God, it's annoying. Okay. Maybe I'll make you bigger. Okay, and then there should be, um, yes, you. It's being funny because I have this turned a different way than I have the other one turned. Oh, brother. Okay, we're gonna just call a day with that. Superheroism. Commentary. Look. It's art. Oh, this is an interesting one. It's so tiny. It's so weird. I like it though. Maybe I'll put that instead of the bear. I'll put it there for now. I want a big piece of art here that feels like a superhero art, you know? Decorations, wall art. <laughs> The pile of candy was supposed to be his partner's starting weight, if I recall, and everyone taking candy was like him getting sicker. Wow, I did not remember that aspect of it, but I believe you. Makes me sad, because <laughs> I did take a piece of candy. <laughs> um. Oh, here we go, installation. 
Is this the can? Oh, yeah, here it is. Oh, great. Here we go. Why did... Oh, January 2021. Anyway, why did Felix Gonzalez Torres put free candy in a museum? This is totally it. I think I had a red piece. But I want to say it was more colorful than this red, white, and blue one. Um, candy pieces. Okay. Target HIV, of course. Well, not of course, but... Um, interesting. Okay. Because... Let's see. Yeah, this... I want to say this one. It looked just like this. It's like in the corner... It was this color candy. Uh, interesting. Oh, yeah. Ideal weight of 175 pounds. Anyway, fascinating. Cool. This is totally it, though. But anyway, like, that's modern art for you, right? So I guess I took this one. The portrait of Ross. Anyway. I feel like a monster for taking the candy now. It was wrapped. Yes. No, it was, it was definitely wrapped. It was wrapped in like a plasticky cellophane material. It was like that kind of shitty candy you get from like the doctor's office or like an old person's house. It like wasn't like exciting candy. It was encouraged. No, I don't feel actually bad. It's just, I'm like, I don't know why the meaning of it didn't stay with me. But yes, I did what was intended for the art. It was interesting though. Still thinking about it. This is cool. I don't know where I'm going to put some of these, but I do want them. I want... Oh, this is... Ooh. These are good. I also like that they're tiny. Hmm. Put those there for now. Okay. Um... Hmm. Pretty ugly. Is there... I want, like, a superhero poster or something. Butterfly. Um... I have to say, putting this museum together has been very fun. Saxophone silhouette. Pretty modern. Old lady. Pretty modern. Hmm, maybe I'll do that one. Oh, perfect. Yes, that's sick. Okay, great. Artists can't afford the good candy. <laughs> yeah. Butterscotch is like a little salty, right? Isn't that kind of what makes butterscotch kind of yummy? Is like, ooh, like kind of salty caramely. Pretty sure I've had it. I want to say. Um, I need a bench. I'd like a bench for here. Do that one. Which I think is oh, this is actually quite a low light. To try to fit a bench in. Do a bench here. I think I'm just gonna stick with the black. Honestly, every other floor basically is gonna have a bench. But this is it's too much for a bench. No. Okay. Well, anyway. Cool. Neato. There's probably a way for me to remove the flooring there, but it's going to be such a pain in the ass. I'm not going to worry about it. Okay. Um, I'm like trying to decide, do I want to have like art around these spots? The thing about going to an art museum is like a lot of times there is just like blank space, you know? Top floor just having no art. In it. <laughs> um, I mean, it could. I don't think I'll do that, but it is a fun idea. I think I want this to be straight. Same here. Yeah. Artists, people looking around asking, where's the art? I'm Banksy. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, it's wild that Banksy is like... He's become so pop. Which is fine. I mean, it's just art's really influential, but... Not really saying anything new there. I think I'm gonna move this to here. Have to figure out. There's still more stuff in the gift shop I gotta do, you know? Okay. Pretty pleased with how this has turned out. Get some lights ready for up here. Put you here. Let me get rid of all these random ones I've placed. Except for that one random one, then I want to be there. not seem like the lights are doing anything. Like, what the heck? Don't understand it? I simply don't understand why it seems like these lights are completely useless. Whatever. One, two, three. One, Oopsies, two, three. Okay, there we go. They finally kicked in. One, two, three. Yeah, all right, that'll do. Seems good enough. Do one there. Okay, sure. Seems even enough. Yeah, they do eventually start working. It's just a weird one. It's also just hard because sometimes I want to be able to see, like, what's this going to do? I still need to figure out what I'm going to do in these spaces, too. I think I'm just going to make them green spaces. I mean, what I want to do. Again. I'm going to make the floor see-through. Really wish this window was working. Thank you. I wonder if I just have too many items in this room, which is why the windows start to stop working. Start to stop working. Motion activated lights to save power. Dance floor is see-through. The problem with the dance floor... Hmm. That's a really good point. Glass. Search glass. Where were those? Because there's also... Oh, man. Because there is a dance floor. But there's also, I think, something smaller than a dance floor. Which is kind of what I need. Oh, what is it called? I'm gonna search floor. I'm gonna search floor. See if it comes up. There's lots of dance floors, I see. But, oh... You know what I might be able to- I bet I could probably put... So, hold on, let me search... Table. Do they have, like, selling tables? Tables where you can, like, sell your shit? Like, that entrepreneurial table we just saw? And... I thought I just saw one. Because I bet if I put that in the gift shop, people can actually sell shit off of it. But... Might not be worth it. Oh. Ooh. Hmm. I mean, whatever. Delete you. Hmm. Where's that? Ugh. Oh well, that's not worth it. What I want to do is find that. Is it in decorations, maybe? Miscellaneous? Because we definitely saw. I want to say. Was it Snowy Escape that had it? That had the like see-through floor. I want to say something has a see-through floor. That is in the dance floor. Like, I want to say we found that at one point. Call me crazy. But that feels right to me. Right? Vendor table. 
Um, entrepreneurial, entrepreneurish table. Like there's this. Like the thing is, they all look kind of bad. Like, I don't like the look of any of them. <sighs> Our installation is just a very dirty room. That's fun. I do kind of want to break up some of these into like smaller rooms versus like big open floors like this one is. But we'll see. But there's definitely like that glass floor. Ooh, what's it called? What's it called? Class with class? Um. Rugs, maybe? Do you think it's a rug? <sighs> Called Street Store. Crystal Clear. <gasps> yes, this is it. Thank you. The thing is... Oof. It's almost perfect. But it's gonna be hard. For mm. if I make it small, it'll get all weird, I think. <gasps> will it? Yes, it will. 100%. Okay. Uh... Lava lamp. It's like I like it. I just might still keep it. But it's not going to work properly. Maybe a little funny, but... Music's gotten all fancy. Which I like. Oops. You know, like, it's, we can kind of only do so much with it. But it's fun, because you can actually, like, see into the other room, potentially. I might keep it anyway. I think I'm going to make it not grass, though. we got to make this, like, a black floor, and I think it'll make it look okay. Versus just, like, weird. Um... Even the shadow works. That's cool. I think it's cool, though. Oopsies. I'm into it. Thank you for the person who told me what it was called. Sorry, I forget who it was. Oh. <laughs> Enjoy the emote, though. Emote. Um... I also probably make these floors all clear. I don't know if it's worth it. It's a little too, like, gimmicky, I want to say. Let's see. I want, like, black, super black flooring. Black. Here we go. Hmm, it doesn't seem as dark as I want it to. Which is maybe fine. Just kind of the way of the world. Because it is definitely black. I think it's just the way the lighting works. Makes it seem not so black. Okay. All right. Great. I'm glad we figured that out. Like, I think that's cool. It's not perfect, but it's as good as we can do. Oh, God. And I think it's pretty cool. So, I'll take it. I'll take it. We're going for ultra modern, but we're going for brutalism kind of ultra modern. Um, which is not, brutalism is not the most modern thing, but it's the vibe we're going for. But it is like a modern museum. So. I feel like this does not have the same thing you do. Oh god, this freaking uh, camera. Oh, there it is, okay. Everything else seems okay. Okay. 
gonna wrap up in half hour ish, but I'm really pleased with how this is going together. I'm gonna take a quick little break, and then we'll be back in like two minutes. Vertical windows, same thing happens. Frame scales down. I know the whole is still to do. It's yeah, it's again, it's like there are certain things that just like don't function properly if scaled. Which makes sense. I, I totally understand why, but it's a bummer when it's like, oh, I just wish we had like a one by one square thing for the window floors. But whatever, it'll be. Anyway, brutalist positive stream exactly. I'll be back in two minutes. Don't go anywhere. I'm back. Hope everyone had a good stretch break. Hope everyone got some water. I'm gonna have some more myself. <sighs> yum, yum, yum. Honestly, now that I, we have this glass flooring, I'm like, Kind of ready to get rid of the yellow. I think I'm gonna get rid of the yellow. Like I, I kind of like a bright color in there. Maybe we'll turn it back. But for now, I'm gonna get rid of it. For now. Maybe it'll change later. Anyway. Um, so this floor feels good. For the most part, feels done. I might put the benches there. This is like not... This doesn't seem like the most comfortable bench in the world, so let's put a couple of these down. Yeah. Cool. 
That feels good. Places for people to sit. Always good. Okay. This floor. So this floor... I want this to be where we have more of the, like, rotating exhibits, I think. Sure. Okay. <clears throat> Oh, do you think Mundan will come to the Switch? I could see that. Someone says they're waiting to play it until it comes to the Switch. Which, yeah, I get that. I do feel like I want to do an archway because I feel like that's realistic for The Sims. But I feel like in real life, it would be like a door doorway. Hold up. Boom. Boom. Bump. I'll leave it as is. It's well lit in here, which is nice. Okay. Sure. That's fine. Oh, it was announced for the Switch for April. Mmm. Yeah. Panel design. Oh, is that the stuff at the bottom? Thank you. Moon Pix Moon XX Pi. I almost called you Moon Pixie. Not right at all. I saw the letters and I scrambled them together. Okay. So I think. This is the room we might break down into like a couple of smaller rooms. So maybe we'll do one here. And maybe we'll do one there. And then we can go... We can still move through here. We'll go there. And then... Just because of how the windows and the stairs work, we'll do it like that. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. I'm gonna have all the little bump outs be in this sort of like lobby room. Um, yeah. Seems pretty good to me. All right. Oh, we need another one. Oh, you know what I should probably do as well? You know, since let's do just this black one. But I should probably... Um, I'm trying to figure out a good flow for this. I'll, well, I'll keep it there for now. But I should probably put like a pillar here. I feel like I need a finishing thing on these. So let's get a pillar going. You didn't have to change your name. I think it's a totally fine name. Also, look at my username. <laughs> I'm certainly not judging for your name. It was more just me reading quickly. Um, more. More. Okay. Boop. Alright, great. I think that makes that look just much more like... Not an unfinished wall, you know what I mean? Um, I will say I did enjoy Mundon. Don't- why are you doing that, Sim? Okay, I just want- boom. 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 Maybe weird to keep this with the sort of concrete walls. But I'm doing it anyway. Whatever. It's done. Cool, I'm 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 done with that. Beams, beams, beam. <laughs> um okay. And honestly the lights still kinda work as is, so I'm not too worried about it. Need to figure out how we're gonna do these rooms. And what's gonna be in these rooms as well? These are in a fine spot. Well, Maybe 
I can make them like VR rooms. Get little VR pods in there or something. I don't know if there's enough room for it, but I kind of want to make... I don't know. I, I like the idea of this. It's weird. But like, they gotta come in and like do a weird little loop around and we'll have like... I want to say, let's, I know exactly what I want. Let's show all. I want Strangerville. One of my favorite packs. And, ooh. It's not enough room for it, but that is fun. I was thinking, these are kind of fun. Just like a real chemical spill item. Like you come in and you're like, oh no, nuclear waste. I was originally going to put this in there, but I kind of like the idea of like you come in and then it's like, Oh shit, it's contaminated. Ooh, you know what I mean? Let's make this inch smaller. I don't know, kind of fun. Bubble machine, if only. I don't think so. But I feel like I've definitely been in museums where it's like, oh, it's like a weird mystery thing and you walk in and it's like a weird little like, I don't know, it's, it's something funny. I also want to say you can like turn these on and make them do weird shit with the lights. I want to say that's a thing. Ooh, you know what I'm really excited for? Okay, I just thought when we do the like Met equivalent or like the sort of old art museum, I want to have, because they always have rooms that look like old Victorian rooms or like it just looks like you just stepped into like a Frank Lloyd Wright house. You know, I'm excited to build those. I think that's gonna be really cool. Did I add mannequins yet? No, not yet. Maybe this is a good time. I like this in here. I think that's nice. Um, is this, I think, has a bunch of swatches. This feels very Shepherd's Fairy, which I like. I think that suits what we're doing here. Need another light. I feel like this light is just too... Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Into it. I don't think we've done that one yet. Cool. Something on these walls. I kind of like the red and black feel. We can do like stuff like this. I don't fully follow. They don't feel super, super modern, but that's choosing to be okay with that. Fine. FLW pack? I don't know what FLW is. Oh, Frank Lloyd Wright. That'd be cool. <laughs> Toilets printed by thick barricades. Exactly. I could do a bit. Y'all really want me to put a big ass toilet in one of these spots. What if... Instead of this guy... Oopsies. I could do... Get a pooper in here. Comfort, no. Plumbing. Just a big old dumper in here. Let's do a classic looking toilet. Are we are we satisfied, everyone? We have toilet art now. See you later, Steph. Alright. Um Import your own art. It is definitely possible. I don't do any kind of modding, but I know other people who have, and it seems like it's maybe not super involved. We were able to get, like, Spice Girls art through people, like, putting it into the game. It seems like you gotta do a thing where you, like, have your Sims paint, basically, and then you take their painting and you make them paint, like, Spice Girls or whatever it is. 
that you need them to paint. I don't think that makes any sense, but that's the answer. <laughs> that's my answer. Brutalist everything always. Exactly. Police tape. I think it actually does. There's hazard tape, which is more for like the floor. But it does have hazard tape, yeah. This is not the right color for it. But it does. Um, which we could potentially do somewhere. I'm very pleased with... This feels like a real museum, how you walk through it. I'm pleased with how this turned out. Okay. Um, great. Is there more? I thought there was more, like... Is there tape? Gate! <gasps> Why do you need a gate for it? Anyway... Um, what should this room have? Okay, maybe this room we could do. I feel like this is better suited. There we go. It's perfect. Perfect. What can I say? I'll never make anything better. Um... Great. And I want a bench. Get some benches. So people can sit and look at the pooper. As it meant it was meant to be. That's perfect. Just one bench for them. That's all they need. I guess we can do one more over here. Great. Damien Hurst formaldehyde? That's is that the one where it was like a cow and like a shark all in glass? You know what I'm talking about? Yes. Yeah, this is a fascinating one. Cow, shark. Sorry, you're looking at dead animals. But he sucks. Oh really? Oh, I didn't know he sucks. Um first person tour the museum. That might be kind of nauseating, but I could try. I didn't know he sucked. That stinks. Didn't was he also the one who made his head, like he made like a frozen frozen bust of his head out of like frozen blood? Is that the same guy? Oh, sucks is just your opinion. Okay, I wasn't sure if he was like problematic. <laughs> um. Okay, I want. I need to put something back over here because I got rid of that other one. What should we put here? I mean, I could just leave it as just the pictures, but that seems dull. <sighs> Empty pool exhibit? What? Um... What's a good... Okay, let's check out... Do like a big fruit bowl. Oh my gosh, my phone is blowing up. Um, fruit. We could do... Oh, here we go. This is fun. This may be weird to have, like, paintings behind a sculpture, but I think it, I think it works. I'm okay with it. Oh, I guess we might just keep this here. <laughs> Maybe I'll replace this guy with this guy. Oopsies. Yeah. I could instead of this I could make this clown painting the actual size of it and just keep it small. There is something fun about it just being tiny. We'll keep it large though. That's okay. There you go. Alright. Saw this exhibit in the Netherlands. Swimming pool optical illusion. While I'm looking at it. Oh, interesting. Cool. Oh, so you can, like, go underneath it. That must be, like, is there water on top of it to give you, like, the light? That's interesting. Oh, that's cool. What? Oh, he jumped. Okay, I was like, what the heck? That's neat. What fun. It must be so hard to keep the floor clean. Anyway. I think it's just glass. Oh, really? Well, either way. Pretty cool. All right. Um... I don't like where this light is. 
Sure. Moving up. This is sort of the more minimalism section, I feel like. Um... Oh, sick. You can change all the colors. Great. I know exactly what we're doing here. You. Boom. You. Boom. Hmm. Even like the size of them. Those too high? They might be too high. It's too... I hope I never use these. These are also just kind of cool art pieces. You can also do like this. Yeah, that's good flow. Maybe that's how they're supposed to go. Hmm. What if we did it like? Ooh, those get quite large. Yeah, that's cool. They're like all in sets of four, you know? One, two, three, four. Maybe this one will show all in a line. You know, it's not how it's intended to be necessarily. I guess it could be. Although it looks like it flows like this. But I do like the idea of just put it in a line anyway. Oopsies. Works for me. Okay. Did we do the brown one yet? Well, sure. Alright, whatever. If that works. It's a little too high, maybe. Okay. I'm gonna add. Oh, this is too far away. Sorry, just trying to get the lights sort of centered in a way that makes a modicum of sense to me. Ooh, new follower. Hello. Uh, might be a Dutch name, Germanic at least. Jeff Proust. Dutch host of Survivor. Hmm. That's cool. <laughs> we basically do have a whole ass museum. I mean, still have a couple floors. Well, I guess just one floor left. It feels good though. I'm really. Let's do. Oh, we need to get rid of this. Let's do a little tour of what we have so far because I'm feeling pretty good about it. Whoops. Uh, we'll start coming in. You come in, you got the gift shop, right? Okay, gotta go back down again. Uh, you got a couple of sculptures in there, of course. Talk to the people. Still need to like fill out some of these shelves. It will happen. Um, but yeah, you can just buy all your useless items and see. I think it looks pretty cool. You can see like the city, you can see the fountains from in here. The windows should work. You see the little town square. Not a ton of lighting. <laughs> Woodworking stuff on the shelves. That's true. That's true. Oh, top floor just art from the art your sim made. That's an interesting idea. Um, let me keep looking through and then I'll think on that. So we got uh, the Sims Cafe here. Looking pretty good. You come in, buy your items, look at a veggie thing. Sit down, hang out. There will be murals here. Don't you worry. If you'd like, you can go and eat outside. I kind of feel like we need... Let's see, decorations. Sort of miscellaneous wall decoration. Is there... Whoa. That's actually maybe what we should have here. Do that one for now. Okay, anyway. Um, I do want... We'll see if they have anything good. But I am tempted. Oh, these are kind of neat. They don't really make sense. But they feel like modern art. In their own little way. You know? 
Modern art for you. Um, I feel like we need something outside here too. Boo -doo -boo 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 -doo -boo -boo -boo. Hmm. Wow, that's humongous. Holy crock of goalie, that's big. Dang, that's big. I wish they had these small so I could just like continue them up, you know? Do they have a smaller version of you? No. They have this or this? Oh, is this atrocious? I feel like we got too much going on out here now. I'm gonna do that instead of the other ones for now. Um, and then you go down to the basement, got the coat check, some of my best work here, I think. Um, not the art on the walls, but the bathroom itself. Cool as hell. Yes, you can see through the doors. Imagine that you can't. <coughs> or imagine that you only can, um, until you lock the door and then it becomes opaque. That's my head cannon. But it's a nice little rainbow bathroom, I think it's pretty cool. Go upstairs, and you have the uh, sculpture, kind of pop art exhibition, very modern, very chic, very open. Um, you can still see pretty good views. I mean, you can kind of see into the gift shop from here in kind of a weird way. Um, then you go up a floor, and you start having smaller stuff. So you have um, the, whoever this is, Fake Shepherd's Fairy. We need to put something on the wall here. We go in. This is not really done as far as the art's concerned. You gotta put stuff in these rooms. I wanna say, I feel like I'm tempted to make these little viewing rooms, but with the big window that makes it hard. Maybe on the next floor, I'll give them little viewing rooms. Anyway, then we have these paintings, which feel cool. Oopsies, clicked off the page for a second there. There is one. I'm make it big. Which one haven't I done? You. Great. Um, cool, cool, cool. You have this very modern, very spooky piece. Ooh, toxic. Ooh, ooh, toxic by Britney Spears. Only bathrooms in the basement, but that's also kind of how it is in museums. Yeah, it's always just like, you want the bathroom? Go all the way downstairs. Um, yeah. Really? Dizzy Lizzy says I got to sneak into a special exhibit that was members only, only because the security guard told me they were the closest bathrooms and just let me and my dad in. Nice. Happy Earth Day. Is it Earth Day today? You got the giant toilet everyone wanted. I think it's a pretty cool art piece. Into it. Um, I also like that there's like nothing on the walls in here, because I think that also sometimes happens where it's just like, we have the one thing and nothing else, which is fine. Um, we'll have to fill, again, fill in these rooms. Figure out what's in there. And then... Ah, why I? Alright, and then we have this, which is sort of to be done later. Yeah. But I'm excited! I think this place looks really cool. Glad we got the glass floors in. Very pleased. Really proud of this one. I mean, we still have some work to do. Oh, look at their little rooftop garden. That's nice. That's cute. Um, and you can see our artist's house. It's right over here. Big sculptures there, too. Anyway, feeling pretty good about that one. So I will be back 8.30 Eastern. Hope to see you there. Um, be playing more, uh, what's it called? Resident Evil 5 with Jeff Bacalar. In the meantime, why don't we raid Ron Bunches? Seems like a fun place to raid. Raid Ron underscore Bunches, I believe. Double check. Yes, that's exactly right. Great. Well, I'll see you all there. Uh, in the meantime, thank you all for being here. Thank you to the mods. Thank you to people who gifted subs or just subbed, or just followed, or just hung out. That's cool, too. All things are welcome and very much appreciated. So I'll see you later. Goodbye!